Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, 5-2 we're looking at here. And um, like I said, this unit's all about combination. It's all about uh, talking about probability and, and one of the ways that we can use to count things, kind of a variation off the fundamental counting principle that we just talked about in part one, permutations, combinations. Permutations, combinations are basically ways to count possible things um, but doing it by shorthand rather than trying to list out or even using the fundamental counting principle. So we use a variation on solve. So think about it this way. Manager of a softball team fills out the team's lineup card before the game. The order in which he fills the names is important. Suppose she has seven possible players for the top four spots of the lineup. Using FCP, how many different ways can she assign the four top spots? So one, two, three, four. So lead off, second, third, clean up. Well, you got seven choices, then six, then five, then four. So multiply together, let's see, 42 times 20. That's going to be 840 different possible combinations. And now what, what you realize is that since the order is important, we call that a permutation. Another way to think about it is an arrangement. All right, so order is different. A, B is different than B, A. And uh, kind of what we're looking at is this. So if you remember from part one, the exclamation point means you multiply from that number all the way down to one. So five factorial is five times four times three times two times one. All right, so that is what this means. N factorial over N minus R factorial is if I've got N things taken R at a time. So if I go back to the previous problem, it would look like this. Seven players for four spots. That's going to be seven factorial over seven minus four factorial, which drawn out was going to be um, seven times six times five times four times three times two times one all over three factorial three times two times one. So if you look, threes cancel out, twos cancel out, ones cancel out, seven, six, five, four. That's what I had um, to multiply out. So if I take a look, permutation, 10 finalists in a figure skating competition. You can go gold, silver, bronze. This is going to be an arrangement, okay, an arrangement. Order matters. It matters if you get first, second, or third because it matters if you get gold, silver, or bronze. So this is why we're using a permutation because Sally, Susie, and Judy in that order is different than Judy, Sally, and Susie. Okay, that's winning the gold, not whining the gold. So there should be another N in there. So that's why we use a permutation. It is an arrangement. All right, so if I arrange chairs or arrange the desks, they're going to be in a different order. So that's going to be 10, choose 3, and that's what we call it. So it's going to be 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial. And I'm going to, and I'm, I'm going to write it out just so you guys get used to seeing it. So that's going to be 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Cancel, 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 cancel. So 10, 9, 8, that's going to be 720 different possible combinations that you're looking at. So now a newspaper has nine reporters to cover four different stories. How many different ways can the reporters be covered to assign the stories? So four different stories. So yeah, this is going to be an arrangement. So I've got four stories. How can I have the nine reporters cover the four stories? So it's just going to be nine, choose four. So that's going to be nine factorial over nine minus four factorial. <coughs> so nine minus four factorial, five factorial. So as you get good at this, you can start to recognize where it's going to start canceling out. So 9 factorial on the bottom, 5 factorial. Boom, 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 boom. 9, 8, 7, 6. So 72 times uh, 42. That's going to be 3,024. So that's how many different ways 9 reporters could cover 4. So how many different ways can the word geometry be arranged? So if I have a permutation with a repetition, it's going to look like this. All right, so a permutation with a repetition is going to look like this. So if I have n objects, peer alike and curer alike, basically every time that I've got a repeater, 
I'm going to put that factorial in the bottom. All right, so let's, let's take a look at, at geometry here. So I have geometry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight letters. So I go eight factorial. Then I've got two E's, and that is my only repeater. So I want to go eight factorial divided by two factorial. Factorial is that exclamation point. So that becomes eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, over two times one. So cancel twos, cancel ones. So that's going to be 20,160. No, I didn't say any of them were words. I'm just rearranging the letters. I didn't say how many of them were going to be words. So if I can rearrange Mississippi, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's 11 letters. So I've got four S's, four I's, and two P's. So all the repeaters, four S's, four I's, and two P's. So I go 11 factorial over 4 factorial, 4 factorial, 4 factorial. So again, written out all the way, just until you guys get used to it, over 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1. All right, so start canceling out what you cancel out, 2s and 1s, this 4, this 4, this 3, this 3. You know, start getting creative here. You know, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8. All I'm left with the bottom with on the bottom is 1s, so I go 11 times 10 times 9 times 7 times 5. So after all that, I'm going to get 34,650 ways. So combinations are where it's not an arrangement anymore. Now it's it's a grouping, okay? Now we're trying to group objects. All right, so A, B is the same as B, A. If, as long as you got picked, you're good. So that's, that's kind of what we're looking at here. So here's my combination. Here's my permutation. So we call that C, but it still said N choose R, but it's a combination. So take a look. Group of seven students who are working on a project needs to choose two students to present the group's report. How many ways can they choose the two students? Well, order doesn't matter. If you get picked first or second, it doesn't matter. You're still presenting for the group. So, you know, if, I, if Sam, Ella, Marissa, Katie, Tyson, Scott, and Kevin, well, Sam and Ella is the same as Ella and Sam. Order doesn't matter. So this is why it's called a grouping. You need a group of two people to present, and it doesn't matter what order they're in. So I can say 7C2 okay, or C72, those are both the same, but it's going to be 7 factorial over 7 minus 2 factorial, and then an additional 2 factorial. So basically what this does is this eliminates the doubling up. So instead of Ella and Sam and Sam and Ella being counted twice, now it's only going to be counted once. You need to understand where this is coming from, or at least what this looks like. So I can cancel 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey, I forgot 6 in here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then I've got 42 divided by 2. So I've got 21 different possible combinations working here. So five cousins at a family reunion that decide that three of them are going to pick up a pizza. Well, if you're one of the three, it doesn't matter if you get picked first or last. Not really, unless you're going to argue that, you know, first person gets to drive, second person gets shotgun, but that doesn't matter. So... Five are going, three, five cousins, three of them are going. That's going to be a combination. No order does not matter. So it's going to be five choose three or five comma three. So five factorial over five minus three factorial, three factorial. So you've got five. So you've got five, four, three, two, one over two, one, three, two, one. Boom, boom, boom. 
4 over 2 is 2. So I've got 10 different possibilities there. So standard deck of cards. Um, if you're not familiar, never played cards in any way, shape, or form, you know, poker, blackjack, kings in the corner, whatever, um, get used to this. Please notice that there are four suits, okay? Club, spade, heart, diamond. There are 13 of each type of card. Um, we go we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine face cards or nine numbered cards, three face cards, and aces play by their own rules. Aces are neither number nor face cards because in some games it's a number and in some games it's a face card. So kind of play around with this. So there's a total of 52, so 13 of each suit, four of each. So five cards and five cards are chosen at random from a standard deck of cards. How many hands consist of three clubs and two diamonds? So you've got clubs and diamonds. Remember, there's 13 clubs and there's 13 diamonds. You know, 13 diamonds are red, so we'll make this red. So 13, you want three of them. So out of 13, choose three. And down here, you want 13, choose two. It doesn't matter what order you get them in. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to multiply those two. So 13 choose 3. So that's going to, and I, I can multiply this out, but I don't need to. Um, write it out. I get 286. That's how many different ways I can get. Um, three clubs out of the 13. Then I do the same thing with the diamonds, and I get 78. So how many different ways can I get two clubs and three diamonds? Well, that's 286 times 78. So that's going to be 22,308 possible scenarios. So 22,000 different ways that I can, 22,308 different ways I can get three clubs and two diamonds. So if I look, six cards are drawn from a standard deck of cards. How about two hearts and four spades? And here, um, same kind of idea. I've got 13 hearts. I'm choosing two. I've got 13 spades. I'm choosing four. And I'm going to multiply those two together. So, you know, give yourself a little bit of room. This takes a little bit of work um, until... You know, you get comfortable with it. I'll show you how you can have your calculator do a lot of the work for you. So 13 choose 2, that's still 78. 13 choose 4 is going to be 715. So if I multiply those, so I get 55,000. 770. That's how many different ways I can get two hearts and four spades. All right, so 55,770. You can move it right there. Boom. So if six cards are drawn from a standard deck, how many hands consist of two cards from one suit and four cards from a different suit? All right, here's where things can get a little tricky. So two cards from one suit, I don't care which suit it is. So this becomes, you know, so this becomes like multiplying combinations together. So for the first two cards, there it doesn't matter which suit I'm in as long as I'm in the same suit. So that actually is four choose four because there's four different suits times 13 choose two times four from a different suit means out of four choose one of the other ones. Okay, times 13, choose 4. So I know what this times this is. That's that 55,770. 4 to choose 4 is actually going to be a fancy way of saying 1. And 4 to choose 3 is actually going to be 4. So I'm going to take 55,770 times 4, and that's going to be 223,080. Now, how did I know that this was going to be one? Well, out of the four suits, pick I don't care which one. Well, if I have four choose four, that's going to be four factorial 
over 4 minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. Um, so that's 4 factorial over 0 factorial, 4 factorial. Uh, 0 factorial, ladies and gentlemen, is 1. You might want to make a note of that somewhere, put big stars around it. So that leaves me with 4 factorial over 4 factorial, which is a big fancy way of saying 1. 4 minus 3 factorial, you guys can work that out and figure out that that's 4. So that's going to be my final answer. All right, there's a lot of subtlety of this. You've got to um, pay attention to what's going on and make sure that you can keep things separate. All right, come talk to me with questions and have a good one.